Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lie again. Today I'm going to talk about a couple shoots that I have done all the way back to November 2020 to February 2021. Sorry about lagging of uploading videos because I have been working on myself kind of. Back in my previous videos, I have always been talking about what I'm trying to say through my work. There's one day I just thought about it that when it comes to photographing something, do I have to have a story every time I'm trying to create? And comes down, the conclusion is no, I don't have to have a story every time I shoot. Instead of giving you guys what I think is I think I need to learn to do something that's more spontaneous you know, When it comes to photography or taking picture of something I could just simply shoot because it's pretty because it makes me feel certain way and if I want to keep myself as productive as I wished, I have to kind of like put myself out there push myself out of the I need to think of a story comfort zone Yeah trying to do more work to improve myself or on the technical side because as you guys can see I'm not the best when it comes to technical lighting and everything oh so yeah that's what I've been working on so if you guys have any suggestions or any thoughts regarding to what I just said please comment down below I am still in a really confusing stage when it comes to creating you know but I also enjoy being um, lost because it helps me to feel something almost physically so I'm going to show the behind the scenes first and then talk about it after and then show another behind the scenes and then talk about it so you guys don't have to look at my face thank you guys for bearing with me let's go So the first shoot was with Salem, Miso, Michael, Ariel, Emma, and Snow. It was a shoot for Sean Magazine online editorial. Originally, I was planning to have this shoot more sentimental, intimate, personal, but like it ended up become more of a fashion editorial shoot, which I am not complaining about because I barely have any experience doing online editorial or sorry, fashion. In general so I think that's something I really need to practice on I enjoyed the experience and I wish I used 
more film for my um, subscribers who like seeing my work on Fuji GA645. The time is coming. And if you guys want to check out the entire shoe, go on Shaw Magazine. The link is gonna be somewhere here. That was the second shoot. The second shoot was with Isa and Email, my favorite models, and Eli. He's like the best, the best stylist I have ever worked with. Not only because he pulled really good pieces, but also he has a really creative mind that helps me to elevate the entire shoot. Also, Quan, the makeup artist. Go follow him. Go follow all of them. It was kind of spontaneous. Eli happened to have some really great pieces from Mia Chi Chi and Turns. He hit me up and asked me if I'm interested in doing a shoot together just to play with these pieces. So I'm like, <laughs> of course, hell yeah, let's do it. Originally, I was going to have a twin model, twin models, models that are twins. I don't know, together to come in, together to come in, what? to come in because um, Yue Qi Qi's pieces are identical almost, but in different colors. So if I could have a twin come in to shoot with me, it would be really interesting. But they got booked last minute. So I ran to Aisa and email asked if they are down to shoot with me, even though it's so last minute. And they were so nice, so kind, and were available. Before I walked in, I was like, I am going to do something that's more of a traditional fashion photography just to showcase the pieces because again, I really need to practice on shooting fashion editorial, guys. Yeah, it was really good. And once I got my film back, the, the lighting is just... <clears throat> but anyways, Photoshop changes our lives. That was the time I found out that, hey, I could do post-production. I know how to use Photoshop, kinda. So I went off, especially on the next shoot, you guys will see. Let's go.
as I said, this shoe I went kind of crazy on post-production because I figured out that I kind of know how to do Photoshop. So this shoe with Lyric was one of my favorite shoes. Of course, again, she is the most beautiful human being I have ever seen. Originally, when I was talking to Lyric, I also asked for her permission that if I could have her do some poses that's more playful, such as something that her interacting with prosthetics. I do not want anyone to feel uncomfortable um, in any ways. But she's so nice that she allows me to photograph those moments. I am so honored and thankful. Love you, Lyric. And of course, I asked Eli to collab because I know he's gonna bring something that's really interesting. I know he's gonna elevate the entire shoot. He brought a blue fishnet tight tights fishnet and a bunch of tennis ball those are definitely one of my favorite shoes that i have ever done and i also have planned out a lot of poses that i want lyric to do before we go on set so that we can save some time and to be mentally prepared doodles also we have some over here please don't make fun of me eli did but it's okay <laughs> So that's the entire video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you don't, please comment down below and tell me why not. Just kidding. Thank you. Um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!